there are now more than 4.5 billion people that use the internet. To get the most out of using it, I'll show you a dozen tips and tricks for use on the internet, along with those used with your browser to help improve your online experience. Let's get started. On many popular websites like this one, when you click to read an article, you'll be blocked from reading that article unless you create an account and pay to subscribe. Many popular browsers like Firefox include a reader view that can bypass these paywalls, but it can be hit or miss. A better solution is to use the Mercury Reader extension. Recently featured in our Chrome extension series, not only does it clean up the clutter on a web page to make it easier to read, it also does very well to bypass website paywalls. It can be used with most Chromium-based browsers like Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Vivaldi, Brave, and many others. With the Mercury Reader extension installed, when you hit a wall like this one, click their extension to the right of the address bar. As you can see after getting past the images, you should have full access to the article without having to subscribe. I'm not sure how long this workaround will be available. I expect it will be patched at some point in the future. If it does, I'll try to find another solution for you. For those of you that use Reddit, there's this handy tip to only view the photos, videos, or other media content within a subreddit. Here's how to do it. Go to the address bar. After the word Reddit in the URL, add the letter P, then hit enter. You'll not be presented with a slideshow of the media content found within that subreddit. If you ever wanted to go back in time to see how a website looked in the past, or to view an article that's been deleted from the internet, the Wayback Machine from the folks at the Internet Archive is a fantastic resource. This nonprofit now has over 541 billion web pages that have been archived. To use it, enter the web address for that site. Let's go with Forbes.com. Then hit enter. Select a year from the timeline. Hover your cursor over a month and date, then select a snapshot of that site. You'll now see how that website looked on that date. Many of the articles have been archived as well. Just click the article link to read it. Here's a quick browser tip to access websites faster. When entering a .com web address into the address bar, you don't need to enter the www before the name of the site or the .com after. For example, if going to the ifixit.com website, go to the address bar and type ifixit. Then use the shortcut, pressing the control and enter keys on your keyboard. This will fill in the missing parts of the URL and load the site. Here's another tip for Firefox and Chromium browsers that should be useful for those of you that do research on the internet. As you may know, the keyboard shortcut Ctrl and D will bookmark the current web page that you're looking at. What you may not know is that if you wanted to bookmark all the web pages loaded in your tabs to view later, use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl, Shift, and D. Give your folder a name. We'll call this one Tech Sites. Select where you want that folder saved, then click on Save. The steps to do this will vary slightly depending on the browser that you're using. This one is useful when signing up to websites to avoid getting spam. Using the site 10 Minute Mail gives you a disposable temporary email address that expires in 10 minutes, which is plenty of time to confirm your email address with any online service. Just click on, copy to clipboard, and paste it wherever you need it. All emails sent to you in this time frame will appear in the inbox below. At the halfway point, let's do a fun one. If you're a fan of the TV show Friends, you'll enjoy this Easter egg. Go to Google search and do a search of any of the six lead characters from that show. That would be Monica Geller, Phoebe Buffay, Rachel Green, Chandler Bing, Joey Tribbiani, and Ross Geller. Since they're already on the screen, I'll select Chandler Bing and leave the rest of them for you to try out on your own. Look for the icon next to their name below. If you don't see it here, you might find the icon on the right in the About section. When you find it, click on it. When shopping online, use the incognito mode or the private mode for the browser you're using. On many shopping sites, the price can go up the more you visit a web page. This is especially true on travel sites looking for hotels, car rentals, or airline tickets. In your browser, look for the settings menu icon. It's usually located in the upper right. Click on it, 
Look for something that says new incognito window, private window, or something similar, and select it. If you see a slider for block third-party cookies, make sure it's enabled, and then proceed to your shopping site. On YouTube, if you think the video is going too fast or too slow, go to settings, and here you can change the playback speed from 0.25 being the slowest and 2 being the fastest. A trick to slow down the video without going to settings is to keep the spacebar on your keyboard pressed down. Users have complained that their computer is slower after upgrading to Windows. While the audio quality is choppy, this also might be useful if you're looking for a specific moment in a video. Whether you're on a worthless website like Facebook or Twitter, or some other site with a text field, pressing the control and left and right arrow keys will let you jump to the start of words instead of individual characters. In addition, to delete the previous word, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the control and backspace keys. The next two tips will be ones that you can use with any browser. Instead of opening Notepad or some other program to take notes, enter this into the address bar and hit enter on your keyboard. Or you could just copy and paste this from the description of this video instead. Before using this, I'd recommend increasing the size by going over here to the settings menu. 150% is better. If you bookmark this, you can quickly access the notepad anytime you need it. Instead of opening a program to view an image or play an audio or video file, left click and drag that file on your computer and drop it in your browser. Here's a bonus one for you. If you're bored out of your mind or you just don't feel like working, play a quick game using Google search instead. One of the many games is Pac-Man, so type that into the search box and hit enter then click on play. Other games to check out include Snake, Minesweeper, Tic-Tac-Toe, and Solitaire. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If you know of an internet or browser tip or trick not mentioned, let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with our latest tips and tricks videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Umbo.